In the week four lab on numbers five, six, and seven, they want us to calculate the mean and standard deviation by hand using a formula uh, for the various binomial distributions we worked on in number one, uh, where we had the probability and we had, basically we had N and P. I'm going to show you how to set something up in Excel that makes this really easy and so that you can actually do this at home uh, uh, on your computer. Let's just uh, make some uh, cells first. I'm going to say N, and I'm going to go one over. I'm going to say P, and then over here I'm going to put a Q, and I'm going to pretty it up some. I'm going to put some uh, borders around it and center everything there and then I might even make it a color or something I'll say green for input maybe and then down here below I'm gonna put some more I'm gonna type mean I'm gonna type a variance I'm gonna type standard deviation deviation all right and then I'm going to, let's see, I may make these another color. Let's make these maybe uh, orange or something. And let's see, I think I'm leaving a cell out. I am. I'm going to control X and paste these right here. Now this is going to make it easier. I'm going to put some uh, cells. I'm just prettying it up. You don't have to do any of this. You can do all this on a calculator. But this makes these calculations so much easier. And I, I like to make things look nice. I'm going to make these maybe a, a, a lighter color yellow. There we go. Maybe these a lighter color green. Okay. Remember, we had... 10 trials, my probability for uh, my uh, first, well, one of mine was two-fifths. So two-fifths is 0 0.40. I'm going to set this Q cell up. I'm going to put an equal sign. And after the equal, I'm going to say 1 minus. Then I'm going to click on this 0.4. That way I can reuse this uh, Excel I'm making a calculator of sorts. So now I have N, P, and Q. Now the formula for the mean is simply equal to N times P. And in Excel, times is the asterisk. So I'm going to click on that 10 and then click on that 0.4. Notice that gives me my mean is 4. I'm going to put out in here in parentheses that this is um this is n times p oh how big is that i've got 20 let's make all this 22 so you can see it all right the variance they don't ask you for the variance but i like to calculate it because it helps me calculate the standard deviation it makes it easier the variance is n, so I click on that 10, hit an asterisk, times p, hit another asterisk, and then times q, n times p times q. So I'm going to put in parentheses here, this is n times p times q. Then finally, the standard deviation is equal to, I'm going to click on, I'm not click on anything yet, but I'm going to start typing S Q R square root. It comes up. I double click square root of the variance. So I click on that 2.4, close it out. Boom! There is my standard deviation. I'm going to say this is the square root, the square root of N P Q or really just the square root of the variance. 
Now I've set myself up a little calculator. Let's maybe, let's do these to maybe, let's format these cells and just do them to maybe, let's call it a number. Two decimal places is fine. Variance, I'm going to format that to a number. Two decimal places, okay. And many tab will round, I'm going to, I'm going to, on my standard deviation, I'm going to say format cells, number, two. So now, this is great. So remember, I had two-fifths. Let's do it for one-fifth. Remember, one-fifth is 0 0.20. Watch this. I hit the Enter button. you got to hit the Enter button. Q changes my mean recalculates, my variance recalculates, my standard deviation. What was my other one? Uh, Four-fifths, 0 0.80. Hit the enter button. Everything recalculates. Now you can do this for anything. Let's say we had n equals 50 and p equals 0.5. Hit the enter button. Each time I make a change, the mean is 25, the variance is 20. just easy. Now, so that handles number 5, 6, and 7. All they want on 5, 6, and 7 is just the mean is n times p. The standard deviation is the square root of n times p times q. I think on number 8 they ask you about it being a binomial distribution. Look in your uh, book at the definition. I think you'll understand that flipping a coin is definitely a binomial distribution. And then finally in number nine they ask you to compare your results you got in like number five with number two or three. The basics of that is one of these, this one we're just using a mathematical formula, the other one we're actually using real data. So that's the difference. Hope you enjoyed this.